Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about, it's a continue to our previous session. In our previous session, when we are doing the patching and updating the vCenter server from 8.0 to 8.0 U1B, there is an issue uh, while mounting the ISO and also we got an error message and we restarted the vCenter server and reboot took longer time so we halted the video and this is a continuation to the previous session and these steps are we discussed in our previous session so let me move to the another step so as part of pre-implementation we reviewed all the steps and during the implementation pre-update checks we got an error message when we are doing the installation stage Okay, so let's log into our system. Okay, see this is the error messages we got it. Let me log out and re-log in again. We'll see whether the still the errors are receiving or not. V center reboot is completed, but when we log in, it is saying that stage in progress, you have reached maximum number of resume. This is the error message are giving. So what we can do is we can just close here and it's keep repeating. So what we can do is in the top of the URL, you can remove the progress section and just run with the update tab. So when we see the update tab within the URL, available update it says update installation failed list of operation is not allowed so to fix this vcenter update error what we can do is we can log into the vcenter server let's say let me log into again let me open the ssh session okay so within the ssh let's log into vcenter server 192.168.243.45 or vcenter server ip and log in as root. Let me retype the password. Retry. Okay, so once we log into the SSH session, it clearly says launch the bash, type the command shell. So let's type a shell. Okay, and by default, vCenter server this installer failed file is running within the vCenter layer. Okay, that point I highlighted in our slide as well. If you see here, after the post installation, yeah. When we receive the update installation failed error message, list operation is not allowed. We have to log into our vCenter server via SSH session. And under ETC directory, there is a application management and appliance folder. So let's change the directory to this path, okay? So we can change the directory cd space and etc slash appliance management folder slash appliance press tab. You will see we already changed the directory to here. So now well, let's type ls hyphen l the complete list. And here, whenever we have a vCenter server update installation failed error message, this information is conf copied or information is updated in one of the file called software update state dot con file see if you see here this is the file software update underscore state dot con file okay so we'll quickly review what is inside in this file okay cat space copy this file name and see the contents inside. If you see this file, software update state.con, it says state is installation failed. Okay, so that is the reason, even though if we restart the vCenter server, still we are facing the same error message. So what we can do is, first we can remove this, uh, this file. So rm space 
the same file name. So the file name should be software update underscore state dot conf. Okay, we are just removing this file. So now again, we can just check ls space hyphen l currently software update policy file only available and update state file is removed. Okay, so once we've done this uh, removal of the software update con file, we are good to retry the vCenter update again. Okay, so but remember that before we start this one, let me log out the vCenter and we have to mount the ISO file. Log into the ESXi host. Let's say this vCenter is running on ESXi 3. So I'm logging to the specific ESXi host and we have to mount our vCenter server appliance with downloaded patch ISO file. Let's say select vCenter 01, it is running on ESX 3 So the same ESX 3 let me log in, refresh. Okay, this is our vCenter VM. Right click, edit settings. And we have to mount the ISO file. So data store ISO file. Let's say click on browse and choose the nimble data store and iso location we already uploaded the iso file to data store our uploaded iso file is we sent us our appliance 8.0 patch okay this is the latest u1b update 1b patch okay so it's approximately 7.42 gb so select that patch okay when you select click on connect click on save okay our appliance is now mounted with a ISO file. Okay. Now again, log into the WAMI page. So let me re log into WAMI page again. So log in with the credentials root and password. So once login, we sent a health status is normal to update the ISO file and to update to the latest patch. Go to the update section. It's already trying to check for the new updates. So we have to monitor for a while. It will show us what is the available updates. Okay, available update is showing us our latest patch. We center 8.0 update 1p. Okay, as we know, first we need to run the update checks. Okay, update checks are passed. So now click, we are good to run the stage and install option. So let's click on stage and install. So accept the license agreement. So it's running the pre-update checks now. Okay, see, so join the VMware customer experience improvement program. It's uh, up to you. So we are okay to uncheck. Or if you're interested, you can just join. And the backup option, we already have the backup. So select this option, click on finish. Okay, so we can wait for a while. Generally, the vCenter 8.0 update approximate time is 27 minutes, close to 30 minutes. Okay, see, 
it's already in progress. Previously, we received the error message. And what we did is we mounted the ISO from the vCenter level or log into the ESXi host, upload the ISO file to data store first, and that data store ISO file mount it on a vCenter VM level. Okay. That is only the lesson learned here. Okay, now the necessary RPM package bundles are downloading. Now again running the pre-check installation in progress. So we can just monitor the screen and verifying what is the options it is showing. Okay, currently it is at 85%. See, appliance management components are installing now. So during the progress, the page, it may reboot couple of times. That's why we are receiving this internal server error. Okay, we can monitor the status from ESXi console. See if you see here, we sent a VM. Open the console in the new tab. It will refresh the page automatically. Let me try to refresh once. Okay, it's 88% now.
seems it may take some more time. So let's back to the slide. We quickly recap. So we got an idea how to resolve the when in case of vCenter update installation failed, you can just go to the appliance path directory and remove the software update.conf. Okay. And the removal command is rm space specific configuration file, then retry. Okay. And let's back to the previous slide. So currently the installation is in progress. The expected time is approximately 30 minutes. So with interest of our time, I'm just stopping the video here because the only the step is reboot the vCenter server once installation finished and verify the vCenter health status from the WAMI page and verify the build number. Okay, hope you got the idea how we can perform. And even though if you face any error message, the troubleshooting steps also, now it's handy with us okay uh, final check with the lab before close so it's expected to take some more time okay so that's it for today thank you for your time and if you're watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the grand cloud garage channel if you're already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now